Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for us to get into working with the ink itself. Um, it's important for us to understand that the uh, Marabu Aqua Linol ink that we're working with here is slightly different to the traditional inks that we've been using previously. Um, this is going to be a first test. So let's take a look at what it looks like coming straight out of the bottle. It's got a nice viscosity to it and the release of it is really, really nice through the bottle nozzle. Um, it is a lovely water-based um, viscous uh, block printing ink. What we've got here is for lino cuts and for relief prints. So we're going to go ahead and roll this out um, and see what it looks like tacked out. Um, normally I would use a palette knife and stretch it a little bit, but I'm going to do that um, as a separate part of this. So we're going to separate it into two sections and keep that out here. Now, as you can see when I'm pulling it, it's got a nice looseness to it. Uh, there's a nice fluidity to it and we've got a little bit of tack but not much. It's opening up really nicely. Um, so we're going to just press this out and pull some color and see what it looks like. It definitely is a lovely feeling ink to work with. Uh, we've got a nice set of little peaks coming through with very little work actually. Um, and we're going to use this now to essentially roll onto our block which I've got prepped on the side here. Um, It seems to pick up really, really nicely onto the block. I haven't put a lot of pressure, I've not put in a lot of effort. It's just working quite seamlessly and I'm quite excited to see how this turns out as a print actually. The block looks pretty good. I think it works really nicely and I can see a lot of shine coming through from the ink, which means that we should be good to go momentarily. Uh, this is very reminiscent of the uh, intaglio inks that I've used in the past but it's definitely uh, without a bad smell and it seems really nice and easy to work with so let's give this a shot let's see what this turns into. Now um, essentially there's two ways of doing this uh, one is with the press that I have the other is to use a baron um, what I've got here is a lovely baron from um, Iron Frog Print Press. Um, they are a wonderful company based out of Texas in the US and uh, there's quite a journey with these little barons as well. Um, it's That's a story for another day but I think what we'll do is we'll do a test of first with the barons and then we'll do one in the print press itself. Um, I'm using a lovely heavy paper here uh, these are Canson 160 GSM papers and just very lightly rubbing over with the Baron and getting a nice bit of pressure. They're quite heavy um, as pieces of glass so I don't have to do a lot of work but obviously I do want to get a bit of detail in which is why I'm going in with the smaller one as well. Let me just rub that in to get a nice transfer. As you can see some of the markings are starting to come through on this side so let's give it a lift and check it out. Not bad at all. It's a semi decent transfer, I think I just didn't use enough pressure on it but uh, the ink seems to work really nicely. I think I may just need to load it up a little bit more, give it a bit more of a heavy coat. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to roll this ink out a bit more. It 
it's a nice tackiness that's coming through with the ink so it's definitely worth using um, I would suggest Uh, now that we've got it inked up, I'm gonna head over to my uh, Woodzilla press. It's an A3 press. Really nice to use, really easy to work with. And uh, we're gonna give this a shot with the press and just see how the ink turns out under pressure. Well, uh, we just ran it through the press and uh, here's the result. As you can see, I think it's important to note that the Aqua Linol link from Marabu needs to be loaded on fairly heavier than what I used over here. Um, it will give you a really nice finish. As you can see, this is from the Barons um, on this side, on the right. Um, in the center here, we have from the press itself and then um, the block on the left hand side. Um, all in all, a really good ink, I think. Um, it's quite budget uh, happy and budget friendly, so definitely worth purchasing and uh, yeah all in all i think it's definitely worth going in for it reminds me very much of the uh, aqua Linol inks from schminky or schminka and uh, those work really really well i'm very happy with those as well um, so i think you're in the right hands when it comes to getting a new ink to use and uh, the marabu ink will definitely do that trick for you definitely worth using i would say uh, so yeah, fantastic outcome I think for a quick print job and uh, I'd really really like to thank um, a few people for, for the material that I'm using. Um, the Iron Frog Press uh, company from Texas, please check them out, the links will be in the description as well. Um, I want to thank Art Lounge for giving me the opportunity to work with uh, the Marabu Inc. And of course, Woodzilla for the press that I use. It's a fantastic, fantastic piece of kit and you guys should definitely check it out. Um, all the links will be in the description below. So go ahead, get your print on and uh, I'd love to see what you guys have produced. Uh, there will be an email that you can send me work on. You can also Instagram DM me your outcomes with the ink and uh, I'd love to get some feedback from you guys. Thank you and uh, if you enjoy the video, please make sure to hit the like button us a subscribe uh, as well and uh, see you next time